Here I have the Ava Pow 6,000 amp. Yes, 6,000 amp car jump starter and power bank. It's got a massive battery pack built into this. So you can put USB devices off them to charge. That's the power bank option, but it also will jump start cars, gasoline and diesel engines. Let's see, 50 times per charge. It's a power bank, so it will charge, you know, USB devices. It's also got LED flashlights in it with different modes, and it's got all kinds of protection to keep from short circuiting or high and low voltage. This is a pretty sweet jump starter just based on its specs. So here's more of the specs on that one. Basically it says, you know, 12 volt batteries that have about 50% life or above left on them. Not a completely dead battery, but a ran down battery. And this is the A68 model. Here's the basic overview. You plug it into the battery bank. You put your positive and negative alligator clips on the battery terminals. You turn the key. Then after it's been started, you remove it, put the battery pack back in the case and then charge it if it needs to be. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. So right out of the box, this thing grabs your attention. It's in a very nice case. This is somewhat of a hard shell case. Most of these type of devices come in like a little drawstring bag, but this one has a really nice case in it. This is the manual and some little brochure. This is the alligator clip section that connects to your battery to jumpstart it. And here is a USB cable to charge the device. And here is also a power plug where you can plug this into the power bank and actually run 12 volt devices off of this power bank. That's pretty cool. Flip this over. Here is the power bank. Now that I've got it out of the case, it has the nice case that it comes with. It comes with an owner's manual and a little brochure. Again, here's the USB cable. Here is the power bank and jump starter itself. Here is a 12 volt accessory plug. So you can run 12 volt things off of this power bank. And then again, the alligator clips that need to be used to jumpstart your battery. On the unit itself, here is a power button. Here is a type C input to charge it. This is a USB one output and a USB two output. This is the DC output to where you plug in your 12 volt accessory plug. And here's where you plug in the alligator clips for your jump starter. This is model A68. Its peak output is 6,000 amps. Its start voltage is 12 volts. Its DC output is 12 volt 10 amps, which is the accessory plug. Output from USB is 5 volt 2.4 amps. Output 2 is 5 volt 3 amps, 9 volt 2 amps, or 12 volt 1.5 amps. And here's a little caution message at the bottom. So there's the input and output side. There's also a battery meter on the side here to let you know its state of charge. Here is a large white cover. This is your LED light and it has a little carrying handle if you want to use that as like a flashlight or some kind of lantern. To turn on the LED light, you just hold down the power button. Now the LED light is on. It's very bright, even here in the daylight. You hold the power button and turn it off. We're gonna hold the power button again. There's the lantern. You press it once quickly and it's gonna go into a blinking pattern that looks like an SOS. You press it again, now you've got a strobe. You press it again and it's off. So, so far, just right out of the box, I'm pretty impressed. You get quite a bit of utility out of such a small package, but how well does it jumpstart a car? The first test subject we have is my wife's Enclave. The battery's gotten weak on this, so we're gonna go ahead and use this jump starter and power bank to give her car a boost. So the first thing I did is I connected these alligator clips on her car. The battery's actually in the cabin of the vehicle. So this is actually where you would jump start this vehicle under the hood. So this is the negative terminal post on the vehicle. There's a cap right here that you flip down, and this is the positive terminal that goes into her fuse box from the battery. So this is where you would jump start this vehicle. So after you've got the alligator clips put on the jump starting terminals, then you open up this little cap that is on the end of this power bank and jump starter. 
there is only one way to put in these cables. So when you pull this cap off the end of the jump starter cables, you will see that this one's kind of like a D shaped and this one's an O shaped. Well, they have to go into these terminals that way. So you can't put it in wrong. So I'm going to flip this and turn it. Now, as soon as I put that in there, you'll see you get a green light. And if you listen closely, you'll hear it clicking. That is it actually putting out the voltage that it needs to crank this vehicle. So let me go give this thing a crank. All right, this thing cranked. No problems at all. Didn't even feel it was a weak battery. So now that the car is cranked, I need to let it run for a little while, let the alternator charge that battery back up, but I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the negative terminal and the positive terminal. Now I'm gonna unplug the cables from the power bank and put the protective caps back over it. And then on the power bank, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close the cap to protect those ports on this power bank. And let's see, it's still showing four lights. It's still fully charged and it's rated for up to 50 jump starts. So this one is 6,000 amps of cranking capability. This thing will probably be able to crank my dozer, my backhoe, any of these large diesel engines that take just a massive amount of cranking power, this thing should be able to do it. So I'm excited to have this in my toolbox. I'm gonna be carrying this actually around with me in my truck. Every now and then I'll charge it to make sure it's topped off and ready to go. This is something that I would recommend everybody have a power bank like this. So that way they can have emergency power and emergency jump starting capability no matter where they're at. All right, if this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, if you would subscribe to the channel, that really helps me out. And thanks for watching. Y'all be safe out there.